Yeah, morning everyone. So this is the current update for the foundation. Um, I've got loads of stories to tell you. But today, um, as you can see, I decided to put um, damp proof. Well, I'm half done and half wasn't done. Um, I came out early here, I think it's around six o'clock in the morning um, to try and do the next stage. So as you can see, they've done the first coat to here and the man hasn't done the rest. So hence, my money's in my pocket and it's not gonna get anything until he finishes it. So I don't have a problem. Well, interesting story about the, the damn proof. I had a contractor tell me why, why should I bother? Um, the place is dry, as you can see here. So why do I need to do it? Um, first of all, it's difficult to even get people to engage with the damn proof um, things because it's not really common. It's not really common. Like I had to search for ages. I went to Coral and Coral, I'll show you the tin when I do the video or I might do it later. But basically Coral sells it for 300 per can and they give you about two other mixtures. There's three different um, items. You mix it together and you use it for the damn proof. Now, as they keep telling me that there's no need to do it, I'm telling them, can you predict 15 years ahead of time? 20 years look there's a stream you can see the water here i'm fetching water from down there that tells me that there must be this place it's not always as dry as it seems even though it looks like it now so why take the risk if i can i'll put the damn proof on it then you know i don't see the harm if any of you can tell me there's harm let me know but I don't see the harm, so I must well do it. Uh, when I went to the coral um, painting, if anyone wants me to do a video when I go and visit them again, let me know. But there's a helpful guy there, and he said to me, listen, under no circumstances should you not put the rubber on top when I finish. So when they do the filling, they're gonna add the rubber on top of it. So I searched for ages, then I found like there's another make, apart from coral, that they have. Um, which was um, that was also oh yeah funny story so I asked for the price and some young two young guys they were quite helpful one guy came he said look I'll give it to you for um, 320 he said I'll give it to you for 320 and we spoke 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 spoke, spoke. and he said oh fine then he went in there came back his older brother came and said, nah, he, he's actually the wrong price. He's actually 350. I'm not going any lower. So after speaking, 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 he gave me two versions. One was for 300 and then the other one was um, 290. So I said, all right, and he said the 290 one is better um, if I haven't plastered it yet, which you can see I haven't. So I was going to use that. Then... Just when I was going to the cash machine, because I don't try not to keep as much cash on me, um, it makes sense. The same way you live over there. So just when I was going to the cash machine, I saw one to the right. And I thought, okay, let me go and um, ask how much it costs. The lady flat out said 240. 240. 60. Six, you know, it was 290 at the end, so 50 pound, 50 um, dollar difference. 50 dollar difference, 50 pound CD difference, sorry, that dollar, 50 CD difference. Just like that. So, I'm thinking, hold on, if I hadn't just gone next door and asked, and say I was buying a few, that's 50 CDs per item. Um, that's the guy removing the board these boards here so that the guy can finish the, the painting and when he finishes the painting then we're going to um, the damn proof and then we're going to use the same board to do the casting 
after. But next is going to be the filling. And I have an interesting story for the filling as well. Um, <laughs> you have to be adaptable in it. So yeah, so basically the guy, they charged me about 200 and um, about 50 cities difference per can just because the owner was just having something to eat and right in front of her the, the kids the boys they were adding an extra 50 thing per can while the owner was just had a back turn so i tell you something you can't beat being here or you can't beat like being um asking one or two um questions so that's the carpenter there removing the boards as i said you should finish soon because next is the filling and like I said I'm going to give you a great update for the uh, for the filling after so that's what I wanted to say about the damp proof um, that's meant to be the first coat we're meant to do another one after the guy on the far side there look the guy on the far side there he's the one doing the job and this is the job not being done right now because he hasn't been done for two days just like that and that's it it's not bothered so sometimes you want to help people around to kind of um you know have an extra income and stuff like that but sometimes it's better to just get someone that's a professional to do the job and just pay them and that's it he asked he, he, i actually mentioned it to him but i done proof and he said i don't mind doing it i said cool but i knew that if i give him <laughs> the money that's the end of me so Luckily, just next door, so we're gonna get it done uh, as soon as possible. We're gonna get it done as soon as possible, so then from then on. The damp proof thing is very interesting. Um, I say just do it. You've got nothing to lose. If you can build a whole structure, then the least you could do is spend at least. This should be around, there's a bit left, so I, I reckon there'll be around two gallons. Um, two gallons. And I should do like two coats. And then any water that comes through, at least you know you're protected. Anyway, well, you're not fully protected, but at least it's better than nothing. And then I'm gonna put the, um, the thing on top as well. Um, the rubber, well, similar to this. Yeah, I'm gonna put that on top as well. But yeah, so thanks everyone. Um, any questions, let me know about the damp proof. And then um, when I get a further update on the next one, which is the filling, um, I'm gonna share it with you and let you know. Okay, thanks everyone. Sometimes I listen to it and the voice seems a bit lower. So if you need um, any comments or anything, or you couldn't hear me properly, let me know. And then um, in a comment section, then I'll try and answer it. If I don't know, I'll ask. Alright, thank you.